What's up travelers? So in this video, we are at Auditore in Florence, Italy, and we're about to have probably the best meal that we've had on this entire trip. So stick around and check it out. First, let's check out some of the sights of Florence.
Wow, that's a big piece of it meat. It is, it is. It's like three fingers, four <laughs> fingers. Are you ready? Oh, probably not, but I'm excited. <laughs> One kilo and twenty. One kilo and twenty? Yes, sir. All right, well, we'll take it. Sure. Wow, did you see that piece of meat? <laughs> okay, so what I just ordered was uh, Bisteca a la Florentina Raza Chania IGP and uh, it is Tuscan farmed beef and it's the smallest piece of meat I could get was over a kilogram so it was about 2.4 pounds <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's crazy. And I also uh, ordered a side dish of fagioli, which are some some beans. That steak is gonna cost 65 euros. And okay, I I usually don't go for these super high price deals, but one thing. So everybody that I've talked to about eating in Florence is like have to go and you gotta get the bistecca a la florentina it's important so that's what i did check out this plate it's even a cool plate <laughs> i'm gonna quit rambling on but when that food gets here we're gonna dig in the bread a little bit of history here so this is very very bland bread and that's because there's no salt in it why is there no salt in it? Well, a long time ago, Pisa, the, the nearest port city, they put an absolute halt on allowing salt in to Florence because there was just a, a big a big fight between the people running the cities and and it was just stupid. So the people in Florence they just started making their bread without salt and it became super bland. Of course now salt is highly available. In fact we've got some here. But uh <laughs> But they, they just kept to their traditions here in Florence. So when you get bread, usually there's no salt in it and it's really bland. And you gotta dip it in some olive oil. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. I, 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 this thing, man. I, I'll tell you what. can't tell me that's not a work of art. I tell you what, and this is a city of artwork. <laughs> All right, let's get some stuff out of the way here so we can start eating. All right, so beforehand, we got these beans. Fagioli. So let's start off with those. Let's just take a spoonful. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I taste some, some really nice ham in there. Uh, it's like a nice ham and bean soup. It, it just, it, you can't beat it. Mm. Oh yeah. For my first taste of Tuscan food, I'm, I can't say I'm disappointed. These are these are the best beans I've ever had in my life. Mm. 
my I forgot I have this steak over here. <laughs> All right, let's just grab a piece here. Woohoo! All right. Now, the best the best way to really see if, there's, if your steak is amazing or not is the fat. Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh my word. All right, so we're done with the fat there. Now we're gonna go straight for this piece of meat. Perfectly cooked to a nice rare Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. So, it basically melts in your mouth. And they seasoned it with just some rock salt. And just barely enough to, to really get that salty flavor in there, but not overpower it. The, the star of the show is definitely the beef. <laughs> oh my word. I can already tell you, 65 euros for this, I may have underpaid. And... <laughs> That's really saying something, because, wow. Seriously, this is the steak that foodies dream of. And I don't say that lightly. Unbelievable. Good Lord. Wow. And with those beans, what a fantastic meal. Just around the corner, I saw a statue of a guy named Magnifico. And I'm going to say... This meal is magnifico. <laughs> I know, cheesy, cheesy. <laughs> but that's the only cheese on this meal. Mm. Oh my word. Now they got a, a pepper mill right here. But I don't know if I should put any of the pepper on. You know what? Since, I, since I'm going in little pieces, we can do that. We'll try it. Oh, that, that gives a whole new level. If you're watching this, I really wish you were here to eat this with me because I'll be surprised if I finish it because I mean it was almost two and a half pounds. <laughs> what a fantastic steak. Uh, you know what? I've always been pretty good at cooking steak. I just learned something. I just learned how to cook a steak. Now one thing that, that I've, I've heard about what they do here in, in Florence with their, with their steak is they age it for about 18 days. I don't know if they dry age it or, or what. Just on the, probably just on the verge of starting to decompose. <laughs> Thank you.
Wow. Unbelievable. And if you come to Florence and you want to eat here, I suggest getting a reservation. I was able to walk up and and that's, that's one thing about being a single person here is they can usually fit you in. But if you're in a group of people, you're definitely gonna need a reservation. And I highly suggest make one. Spend the money, who cares? You only live once. This steak is amazing. Oh, mm. Well, I got a lot more food to eat here. I'm not gonna make you watch it all, but I gotta tell you come here. If you can, come here. Auditory. Or is it? Yeah, Auditory Brasseria. Restaurante Pizzeria. <laughs> come here. You, you want to come here. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and come watch this next video. I really appreciate every second that you watch on my, on my videos and every like comment below i i really want to interact with you guys and because i mean you guys are my viewers i love you guys you're, you're the best but again like subscribe hit the notification bell and as always eat great food